drought and famine. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Morgan of Miss Morgan Ashley. <laughs> no, I don't know. Don't even mind me, okay y'all? But welcome back to my channel. If you previously watched, watched my first video back, um, you know what I'm talking about when I say back. But if not, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome here. We focus on a little bit of everything, beauty, lifestyle, fashion, um, everything I love. I'm just here to share with you all. And hashtag she never pays resources. Um, go follow me on Instagram at Miss Morgan Ashley. And if you like this video or like the previous video but did not, please like, comment, and subscribe. But if you watched the first video um, on my page, you saw where we talked about the J.W. Anderson small hobo chain bag. And off the hills of that one, there was no better way than to do a follow up on them chain moccasins that he got too. Cause they are cute too. And of course, hashtag she never pays retail. Sis, we did not pay retail for those either. Okay, so. <laughs> Stick around and we will get into the review. So let's get into the get into the shoes. Oh, and also before we jump into the shoes, this top, honey, isn't it cute? Okay. I will link it below. <laughs> but these are the shoes. This is the shoe box. Um, that it came in. Again, just like the last video, I'm going to talk about the shoes off first, and then I will talk about where i purchased them from and how much i purchased them from so stick around but this is the box that they came in just a cute little white box it says jw anderson on the front and on the side of course it says the description of what i have and they are the um calf it says calf treasure 679 bordeaux um and i got these in a size 41. i am Originally, I usually wear in European sizes of 40. I'm like a US nine and a half, ten. I do have wider feet. Like when I say I have wider feet, I mean I have wide feet. I'm flat footed with wide feet. So sometimes it's hard for me, but I do have a smaller heel and ankle. So sometimes it can be tough for me to um, go into narrow, narrower shoes or have to size up like when it comes to European shoes. Um, I knew for this, since it was a moccasin and, you know, the back is out, I wanted to have extra space because right now it's winter. So if I wanted to wear a thicker sock, I wanted to make sure I had room in them. Um, and then again, like just walking and people looking at your feet. Don't y'all don't need to see my heel hanging off the back. Like you need to see that extra little space. So I decided to do a whole size up. Um, so let's open her up. Um, it comes with, you know, the little J.W. Anderson, probably, um, product care details and exactly, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what it is as far as like the product care and the material of the shoe. Um, it comes with a dust bag. For me, I like to keep my boxes of luxury shoes again, just for the resale part of it. Like I want to have everything again. These are not, I guess you consider, consider a luxury you know what it is because anything you want to consider luxury is luxury okay luxury does not have to be five thousand dollars and above luxury does not have to be two thousand dollars above whatever you point and say is luxury is luxury for you so just just note that okay um but moving on before i go into a tangent about that um it comes with this dust bag i haven't used a dust bag for my shoes, I don't typically keep shoes in dust bags, in the shoe bags, unless I travel, I'll put them in the dust, the dust bag. Um, so it came with a whole bunch of paper. Um, but these are the shoes. They both are stuffed right now. So these are them. Aren't they cute? Again, the color is Bordeaux. As you can say, so you know, like a wine color a burgundy is a very pretty um the chain detailing is in gold it's that same chain detailing on that jw anderson whole bag that i reviewed in my previous video again if you have not viewed it go check it out 
Um, so it's lightweight per se. It's not heavy at all. There's some, I mean, you would think that they might be heavy, but they're not at all. Very light. Um, the leather, I'm not sure what the leather is. I tried to find what it was. It just, every description, like on Saks, Nordstrom, um, the two sites that I looked at randomly, it just says leather. So I'm not sure what the type of leather this is. Um, but the leather is very, like, for me, I mean, I don't know, maybe because I wore them already a few times. To me, they're a little bit smoother than the hobo bag um, leather. It's probably the same thing. I'm not sure. But I think the leather is a little bit more soft and pliable now. It's not that hard um, cowl that was on that bag. But again, it's my, it may be because I've worn them already. Um, the insole, if you know Birkenstocks, you know eventually Birkenstocks mold to your feet. Um, it does have like an insole that does have ridges and that do, I would say, mold to your feet. I'm not sure over time they will mold to like your exact footing like Birkenstocks do, but um, maybe. But again, I feel like they were comfortable and they moved to my feet. Again, I have flat, wide feet and they were perfectly fine. Um, I'll input uh, videos um, up, or I'll try to insert a video of me putting the shoe on and how it looks on my actual foot. Um, I'll, also, I'll actually also try to like insert different photos of me wearing it um, or styling it. I think I only have like one photo of me the way that I wore them. When again, just another cute little piece to have when you're running errands and you just want to be cute and chic. Um, I think I was running a Target one day and I styled them up with like an essential sweatsuit, which was really cute. But um, yeah, so I'll try to insert that here. Um, but these are the shoes. I mean, I know when I first saw them on YouTube, a lot of the reviews are people like saying like, these are ugly and you know, but sis, the practicality of these, just having cute shoes to run around in, these are them and they're very comfortable. Like I said, um, I've worn them a few times. They don't hurt my feet. Um, I haven't tried to wear them with socks just yet. So I will update y'all, or I'll try to do an update video. Maybe I'll do an update video when I worn that the bag, the JW Intercept bag, in a few months. Maybe I'll do a like a review or update of both of them in one video because I don't see myself doing individual updates for both of them down the line. But maybe, so maybe that is a option for a video down the line. I'll do an updated review on both of them together. Um, but yeah, so the shoe is comfortable, it's cute. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's very different. I get compliments on them anytime I wear them. People are like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. Like, who are, who are they? And I'll tell them like nine times out of 10, people are unaware of the designer. They're the like, updated version of the Birkenstock. And if you don't like the Birkenstocks and you wanted something a little bit more chic, these are them. Let's get into what I paid for them and where I got them from. So I got them from Sense, <laughs> Sense, Sensei. I don't know. I, every time I see it, I want to say Sensei. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably Sense, but the website S S. Um, what is it? S S E N S E. Sense probably. It's Sense with the extra S in the front. I just like Sensei. I don't know. I'm a fool. But I purchased mine from there, and of course, like I said, they retail. Or I don't know if I said it. But the shoes retail for $6.45 US dollars. And I paid, hashtag she never pays resale, um, $3.23. And yeah, there was no taxes, I didn't pay any shipping. So I paid $3.23. So I saved just about half, I saved up just about 50% for them. Um, and again, I bought, let me see, when did I buy these? So I bought these a few, I bought these in the beginning of January. Um, before I came up on here, I did search and I already see like they're cheaper um, than what I paid for them on the website. My same color and style. Sorry, oh, this camera dies, died again. I don't know, I don't know. Again, the pains of trying to do YouTube in this camera. If you guys have details on how to keep my Canon G7X to not turn off while I'm recording, 
it goes off after a certain time and I don't I don't know why but if you know how not to do that please leave a comment below Again. and they're still on sale I've seen them on sale on uh, Neiman, Saks, and Nordstrom. So even though big department stores have these shoes, um, d the depending on the style, like honey, there, there's a pair for you if you like these. And if you're not a fan of the Bordeaux, there's a pair for you on sale right now. Go check them out. Um, I'll look myself and if I find some that are different from mine, I know I will. I'll link them again in the description box for you. Um, what else would I want to mention about these? They do have this style in like a sandal too. I'm not crazy about them. They're not cute at all. I'm not wearing that shoe with a sandal. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's it. So again, I hope you enjoyed this review. If there's anything that you would love to see more of my reviews when I'm doing these type of videos, please feel free to leave a comment. I and again, if you enjoyed this video and you would love to see more of these, Please like, comment, and subscribe. It keeps me motivated to do them. Um, and I would love um, to see my numbers increase, y'all. So again, stay to the stay tuned to the next one. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Morgan Ashley. The Miss is spelled M-S. And I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Through drought and famine, natural desire.